Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Snap Hip from Kilo Hearts. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm inside Ableton Live and I have already loaded an audio source or a VST plugin, which in this case is Discovery, and I have already selected a program. <laughs> And that is how it sounds. I have also loaded in Snap Hip, and here it is. And let's have a look at uh, the um, user interface. As you can see, really nice, uh, nicely layout. So at the top, you have selection of preset, which of course you can browse in there into different uh, categories, as you can see from the factory bank. But of course, you can create also your user banks or your user. Um, presets and also you can have your favorites as well okay you can create a new one you can save them you can give them a description name etc etc so there's a lot you can do there you have undo redo option over there here you have the name of the version important and then here you have macro controls which i show you in a moment and then then here you have the ability to chain in serial but also in parallel and i'll show you that uh, different effects which is really nice and this is where you can actually bring in uh, those snap um, snappings which uh, you can use also inside your dose as well and down um, underneath here you have some parameters for each of the effects for each of those different lanes and um, and below you have uh, modulators so let's have a look at how it works so you go here and you click and then you select an essential effect, or you might have also installed if you purchase them premium effects. So let's say that I'm going to insert a delay, like so, really nice. And here you have different controls, of course, for uh, the delay. At the top here, you can deactivate that. As you can see, we have disable it, or you can enable it, you can mute it, and you can also solo it as well. And then, of course, here you see all the different controls for the effect that you, you have actually loaded. You can go underneath here, click on it, and select another effect. So, for example, let's add the distortion, and there you see a distortion. <laughs> You can disable that like so and you can continue you can add additional one as well or you can go to the next lane and click again and you can add another effect so let's say that we add a filter and then you can change the cutoff here resonance here or the gain there etc it really depends on the effects that you have loaded you see this icon here underneath you click on it and then they run in parallel so that is another interesting cool effects that you can use between the different lanes underneath each one you can select the gain pan left and right channel and also your uh, mix so really nice so let's try Let's reduce the delay. Let's increase it. And you can also reduce the gain as well. So let's go here. And you will not hear that anymore because it is not sending through the signal for that particular lane. And you can do the same, of course, on the next lane. And you can keep adding additional effects for different lanes or multiple effects in each of the lane. So that's really, really nice. Additionally, here you have modulators, which uh, works very standard in as in other UI uh, from Kilohertz products. So you click on it and then you can choose uh, 
a shape really so or midi as well modulator so there are a lot of choices so let's try a simple envelope like so really nice and then you click here on the plus sign and then you click where you want um, the telephone to modulate to or how to connect it and then you set here the intensity like so down here click hold and drag and you see the lfo influencing the cutoff frequency for this filter <laughs> you can change the starting point there like so on the frequency you can change the frequency here then here you have a general gain and um, your mix as well and um, as I mentioned earlier on here you have a set of uh, macros which you can use to drive parameters inside your filters which becomes really really handy so let's say for example um go to this macro free we click on the plus sign and then we can choose for example to control the mix here okay and then we choose again the intensity um like so and then when we finished we can change of course the position so let's try again like so remember you have to have the right uh, beginning because in this case is adding or subtracting right and so on and so forth you can add additional effects um and the farm doesn't stop there. So now let's try some presets and see what they sound like. So um, let's go to the factory bank here and uh, let's try some delay. You double click on a preset it loads it and as you can see it loads also some default macro as well that you can see here and you can see also the macros can be connected to multiple parameters as you can see here multiple dots so that's really nice because you can drive multiple parameters for different effects uh, uh, from a single macro that is why they are there to help you um let's try a few more so let's try um for example let's go to this creative here granular module <laughs> Let's try something about modulation. And you can see here he's using this trans gate effect, really nice. Let's go back to the browse again, let's try this gate cider. Let's try something about reverb. Let's try something else, like for example pitch shifting. Um, let's go for this ping pong uh, pitch riser. Let's try this one, this resonator. So as you can hear, you can create very different presets applying all these different effects. A bit crusher, which is always nice. As you can see, very useful to try the, to use the macro controls. Let's go for something dynamic. Transient processing. Let's 
strength is mastering tool. Uh, let's go for these dynamic punch up. And you can see you have band equalizer here, and then you can choose for a different marker change in different settings. You see, this one is mapped to these um, low controls for these um, band. The dynamics. Yeah. So, as you can see, you can do a lot with Snap Hip from uh, uh, Kilohertz. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction and tutorial. And as always, see you next time. Bye.